Hello. Okay, so as the title somehow echoes, <laughs> sometimes you, we're doing a double promo today. We've got, we're going to start with Norman's Great Illusion and then move on to Active Neurons. And we're going to do both of those today and then we'll see where, where the whims take us. The whims or the winds. Yo, Valbo. Day one. I've got a suit. I can sit in a chair. Am I Norman? We can sit in chairs. Other than that, can't do much. Norman has a family. The buds are blooming. Spring has sprung. Such a happy time. But you're all serious again. We have to get the rebar shipped out. But crew three is nothing is falling behind again. They're having a hard time with their new air crew chief, but he's smart. He'll get things figured out soon enough. Why do we have to suffer because of them? The engineering department always meets the deadlines. Yeah, because you work there. Not everyone is as lucky as the engineering department or as I am. You're right, as always. I have to run now. Kisses. <laughs> I didn't see him shower or anything, you know. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. No boundless evil was initially conceived as an evil. It's supposed to be a virtuous action aimed at the alleviation of harsh conditions. You're going to use your car to drive to work and back. Pay attention to the road if you want to avoid troubles. Make maneuvers only to the at the right moments. Press the button only when the slider is in the center part of the screen and is lit up green. If you start a maneuver too soon or too late, the car will get a minor damage. Your car has a margin of safety, a scale on the left. As soon as the damage scale is full, the car will go to the workshop. That's a serious hit for your family budget. York as an engineer demands a lot of daily mathematical calculation. Tasks are displayed in the top text window. The time to solve a problem is limited. If you don't enter the correct answer in time, you'll get a penalty point. Use buttons on the right to enter the solutions to the equation. The red lights below display how many mistakes were made. If you make more than five mistakes per day, the daily goal won't be met and you will receive a warning. Receiving warnings is how you get fired. <laughs> Diligent work will, get, will not be unnoticed. If you don't make more than two mistakes a day, you'll get a bonus. If you work without warnings, you'll get a promotion. You looked at the clock, it was time to take a break and rest a little. Oh my god. Nine eighteen. Thirty-six minus eight is twenty-eight. 
16 plus 7 is 23. 27 minus 9 is 18. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 9, 36. Whew! I, I apparently work as a calculator. You get a reward. You got a bonus. Your hard work during the day hasn't been left unnoticed. You've been given a bonus. <laughs> apparently, my job is a calculator. Savings, salary, 40. Spending, minus 90. Bonus, 30. Penalty, zero. Wait a minute. I, I did perfect and I still lost money today. <laughs> Real life, the game. <laughs> It's the cat. It costs too much money. It was an exhausting day. Yep, I had to do math. <laughs> but a bloody good one at the same time. Don't swear in front of our child. You should make dad stand in the corner. <laughs> do whatever you want with me today. We got the order shipped out. The bosses gave the crew chief a talking to, and crew three finally got their asses in gear and made the deadline. The most important thing is just to do your job and everything will be fine in the end. If everyone does that, we'll have the whole country better soon. How can you be so sure? Some smart guy said so on the radio. <laughs> How could you tell he was smart? From his voice. And he didn't swear at all. Exactly, we don't swear on these streams. Much. Ever. Let's go to sleep, I guess. It won't let me do anything. Day 32? You were tossing and turning all night. Did you have a nightmare? I was... Kayaking down rapids, but not like last year. Remember? Of course I do, and that fisherman will never forget either. But I apologized, and I bought him a new fishing pole. The sun is out, but take an umbrella anyways. The forecast says we'll be getting our first storm of the spring. I'm not afraid of any storm, but fine, I'll take an umbrella. This is a game. The swamp is forced to self-determination despite all its inertness. You had only just stepped out of the car when you noticed a man running past with a bandana over his face. He was being chased by two policemen. Hmm, what do we do? Do we knock the fugitive down or step aside? Oh ho ho!
Yo, Paul. So what do we do, peeps? Do we knock down the fugitive or step aside? <laughs> yeah, no delay. We're done with delays for now. Knock him? Okay, we'll knock him down, as suggested by Valbo. You helped arrest the offender. Hey, we got an achievement. Need to start from something. You have made your first choice. I didn't make the choice. Valbo did. C congrats, Valbo. You got an achievement. You helped arrest the offender. You recognized him as your neighbor's oldest son. The policeman thanked you for your... In your... My civic awareness it said that the man was the head of a clandestine network of ideological circles. <gasps> 16 times divided by 4 is 4. 5 times 8 is 40. 36 minus 9 is 27. 72 divided by 4, 18, 1, you looked at the clock. It was time to take a break and rest a little. Zero. Eight. 14, 17. 3 plus 2 is 5. 3. 32 divided by 2 is 16. Your hard work during the day hasn't been left unnoticed. You've been given a bonus. Saving salary plus 40, spending minus 90, bonus plus 30. We're still spending more than we're gaining. <laughs> we're just eating into those savings. I'm sorry, we must talk about the budget. I was a hero today. Did they talk about me on the news? There was an interview with the police chief, a story about the new Autobahn opening. And the weather forecast. Not a word about your factory. Not about the factory. About me. I helped the police catch some thug they were chasing. Turned out it was our neighbor's eldest son from number 17. It's all the breaks I'm taking? Dang. You're right, Valvo. So, Paul, that means your people are crew three that have the issues in this game. <laughs> he always seemed normal. It's all about how you raise them. Just look at our little sweetie here. I'm dog tired today. Being a hero is hard work. I think I'll go to bed early tonight. Sleep well, our mighty protector. Oh wait, gotta get into the shorts, the boxers, and go to sleep. Then we put on a suit. I put on a suit to be a calculator. Day 62! Oh my god. The weather isn't very festive today, and on today of all days, what's today? The election is not a holiday. It's our civic res civil responsibility. In our department, we've spent our lunch breaks debating for weeks. The majority are for NSP, but there are some who continue to, f to defy them. It's a good thing that there is complete harmony in our home. I love when everyone shares the same opinion and nobody fights over anything. Oh, God. <laughs> This is a difficult time. We must demonstrate solidarity. Not 
bicker over who offended the other and how. If we get together, we can solve any problem. But if we allow ourselves to get separated, we will be broken. Don't forget to wear that tie that's been waiting to get come out for a special occasion. The election may not be a holiday, but everything should still look put together. Everything will be perfect. Am I wearing that tie or do I have to go get the tie? Or is there not really extra choices? You know, we can sit in a chair. I guess we're going to work. Massive propaganda in media shape public consciousness. Are you sure? Maybe it's just a myth. Okay, Joe. Hi and bye. Look at these driving maneuvers. And now back to my calculator business. I know, right? We're, we're killing it in Leapfrog. It's election day. The National Solidarity Party, NSP, is the most popular among your friends and colleagues. The main item on its political agenda states, recover lost ground together, restore national unity, enhance well-being. We could vote for another party or demonstrate solidarity and vote for the NSP. I feel like this, you know, if I'm, if it's my illusion, then I guess we're supposed to, and it seems like Norman is definitely the type who would vote for the NSP. So I guess we're going to vote for the NSP. Without a moment's hesitation, you checked NSP. Your civic duty took you two minutes and you still have time for a cup of coffee. And then we're back to calculating. Twenty-seven, nine minus nine is nineteen. Five times eight is forty. Four times three is twelve. Four times two is eight. We are a good worker bee in this society. We it is my great illusion is Norman. Your hard work during the day hasn't been left unnoticed. You've been given a bonus. Salary, 40. Spending, 90. Bonus, 30. Penalty, 0. We just keep losing money, though. <laughs> Eventually, we're going to create a better life for ourselves. Have they already announced the election results? Yes, and we did it. We won. They're showing the celebrations from all over the country on TV. Any word from the other side? The leaders of the countries on either side of us are racing to be the first ones to send their congratulations naturally those guys at work who didn't support nsp will see and understand everything soon soon everyone will understand it's so wonderful to stand together side by side yeah i'm, I'm waiting for the truth of this game like you know this isn't a happy setting <laughs> it's quite clear Day 
Our country has recently suffered a stunning defeat during the most complex period in its history. And now we find ourselves in the hands of ruthless conquerors who impose their will on us without ever the slightest remorse. That's a fine good morning. I heard it so I heard it on the morning show and it stuck in my head. Do you think we'll make it? Of course, we have no choice. The NSP has already formed a government and started to fulfill its campaign promises. We'll start to see changes soon. It's about time. Well, I have to head to work. We're getting an important government contract. The struggle of workers for the improvement of their state inevitably requires an organization. Inevitably becoming becomes a war not against the personality, but against the whole class, oppressing workers, not in some factories and plants, but here and there. Look at that awesome driving. I could run up the uh, TA leaderboard for, for racing. Yeah, no 20 minute delay today, Dopey. We're back to normal. The factory received a manufacturing order for R-A-B-I-T-Z. Netting and barbed wire. Ooh, quantities were large and deadlines were tight. The authorities ordered that the work we be extended to 60 hours with standard overtime wage rates. You've always treated your employees well, and so a group of several activists came to you to asking for help organizing a strike. I'm going to try to dissuade the employees from striking. I am going to play this run of the game being the perfect employee, okay? After three hours of unsuccessful negotiations, you failed to reach an understanding with your, the employees, and one of the young trainees from the foundry threw a left hook at you. What? The fight was broken up, but things are still tense. Jerk. 9 plus 3 is 12. So all this is so far is calculator the game and timed button presses and some minuscule choices. No, I support the man here. <laughs> I'm part of the system. Why is it that when you try to be kind, everybody wants to take advantage of you? What happened? You of all people know that I've always treated the, the factory workers with respect. So they decided that I'm one of them and that they could offload all their problems onto me. They want to, me to help them organize a strike. If they want to go on strike, they can do it themselves. There's no need to get anyone else involved. If something happens, you know they'll blame you. I spent half a day trying to talk some sense into them, but it was futile. They're so bl they're as blind as bats, or rather, as stubborn as mules. All they think about is this class struggle. But now there's a neat chance, a real chance that we might lose the government contract. And where will they go if the factory closes down? They were talking about that on the radio today. Oh.
What day is it? 123. Oh my gosh. Time is flying, people. The night was so muggy that we had to leave the windows open. You didn't even notice. You were out like a light, but I didn't get a wink of sleep because of some lunatics out on the street. All the students are on vacation. That's why they're hanging out. Those of us who have to get up early for work don't mess around like that. Judging by the voices, it was a bunch of men, but they were acting like teenagers. They really need to grow up already. If your head is empty, age changes nothing. Then they should find something useful to fill their minds with. Yes, someone in charge should get that sorted out. I have no time. The government order is almost finished. We have to stick to the schedule. Hmm. Of all the existing forms of oppression, national oppression is the most delicate and dangerous one. It smartly secures the capitalists by causing national conflicts. Yeah, ew, teen teenagers. After leaving your house in the morning, you see three men with truncheons in unfamiliar uniforms beating a middle-aged man lying on the sidewalk. The man has covered his head with his hands, but you recognize him as a small-time jewelry store owner from the neighborhood. He's been shamelessly overcharging and has only ever been nice to those with deep pockets. Let's find a policeman. There's, there's the... When a policeman arrives on the scene, after a quarter of an hour, all the men are gone. Only a large blood stain remains on the sidewalk. You're a half an hour late for work and get a penalty of 50. Oh. Dang it. My stupid morals. You looked at the clock. It was time to take a break and rest a little. That one always gets, those bigger ones are, I've been given a bonus. At least we got a bonus after that terrible penalty that we're going to take of 50 G's. No, we're supposed to definitely be doing everything that we're sh just be a good bee. <laughs> While going through the Daily Mail, you found a note from your boss. The effort you put into your work in the last few months, ha the last few months has been recognized. You've been promoted. Yay, we got promoted. <laughs> Murphy's Law has applied itself again. There are usually police on every street corner. But today, I was running around for a whole hour just trying to find one. And on the day of an important shipment, I ended up being late and getting fined. Things couldn't possibly any be any worse. That poor guy wasn't nearly as lucky. The news said that he hasn't been found yet. The attackers either. I hope they find him. And a couple of bruises will be good for him. That'll teach him to profit off ordinary people. Good God. 
It's not for us to judge him, but honestly, guys like him deserve it sometimes. I'm curious though, what are the police doing? They should hurry up and catch all these radicals already today. Already. Today they hit those guys, but tomorrow they might come for us. The minister promised to handle the situation. Day 154. But we got a raise, so let's see if we're, you know, making some money now. Net positive, possibly. The radio has been warning us about radicals engaging sabotage at factories all morning. Please be careful and keep an eye out. I'm worried that something will go wrong. First of all, calm down. Second of all, they're not radicals. Just union members, and they are on strike, not engaging in sabotage. And third of all, I'm smart enough to stay out of this, regardless of my personal feelings towards their activities. Whatever it is, it still frightens me. Why can't everything stay quiet and orderly? Why is everything around us so erratic? What about tomorrow? How will we... Stop. Just stop panicking. I'll deal with this, and everything will be fine. <laughs> Everything will be fine. Got that? Everything will be fine, people. We should achieve such cultural growth of the society that would guarantee comprehensive intellectual and physical development of all its members. In order to do this, the duration of working day should be shortened, first of all, to at least six hours, and then to five hours. The employees have declared a strike. They demand improved working conditions and a wage increase. The superiors are furious. The whole engineering department is outraged at the delays in the delivery schedule. Well, obviously we said we're gonna be good worker bee and try to support the system. So to do that, we're gonna support colleagues and inform superiors about the instigators. Cause yeah. The labor movement leaders disappeared without a trace in the afternoon. You gained the support of your colleagues and superiors. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're bad. Sixteen twenty. Two divided by four. You looked at the clock. It was time to take a break and rest a little. Yeah, five hours is really short of a day. Your hard work during the day hasn't been left unnoticed. You've been given a bonus. Salary is 60, spending was 90, bonus was 30. We're at net zero for the day. We didn't have to dip into our savings. <laughs> uh, 
I never thought a strike would hit our factory. The workers are suggestible. Suggestible, of course, but I thought they were fairly immune to all this ideological nonsense. So how long are they going to... How long are they going keep disturbing the rest of us? I know, right? I am terrible. I don't plan to find out. Our superiors have already been alerted about the situation. Things should get better soon. I feel sorry for them, but they really could express their dissatisfaction in a more civilized way. Wow, this is just such a timely game. They only think about themselves, and they don't care that conscious, conscientious people have their own families and responsibilities to take care of. Look on the bright side. It's a chance to leave town for a few days. The weather is perfect. We are a capitalist dog. We're a slave to the system. Day 185. Ah, the start of a new school year. Have you missed going to school, honey? I only missed recess. Wow, these people are so multidimensional. It's a good thing we bought all your school supplies ahead of time. A lot of people just realize they need to go back to school shopping and are running around rushing to pick up those last few things. School days, so many memories. I enjoyed my university years a lot more. I still keep in touch with some of the guys from my year. And some of the girls, too. Breakfast is perfect as always. I've got to run. Good job dodging the question there, buddy. Without theory, we're doomed to die. It's vitally important to study, 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 and study more. An increased number of underground home underground home presses publishing prohibited propaganda have been detected in recent weeks. The government asks civilians to be on the alert and report all suspicious individuals. A reward is offered for any legitimate information. After leaving your house in the morning, you see your neighbor loading his car with bulky sealed boxes for the third time in the past week. Ooh, spooky. Well, as we said, we're not being good on this playthrough, so we're informing the police, just in case. The police found a large quantity of newly printed propaganda leaflets in your neighbor's house. You get a reward of 200. Just killing it here, people. Sixty for salary, spending ninety, bonus two hundred and thirty, penalty zero. We have gotten more money than we started the day with. 
Wow. It's very important to stay vigilant, even when everything around you seems calm. I have never liked our neighbor who lives in that weird house. And my gut instinct wasn't wrong. It turned out that he had an entire underground print operation going on in there. I saw a news report about it. men like him today. They uncovered a whole network of them. I don't know what kind of things they're printing there, but I don't like it one bit. You don't need to know what they're printing to understand. I'm glad that you're an obser so observant, and the reward definitely doesn't hurt. Wait, enough about the whole thing. Don't think on it too much. Right, no unnecessary speculation. Let me just be a puppet. <laughs> Day 215. The radio said that the new national reform is already starting to bring in results. The crime rate has been almost halved. I'm glad to hear it. And they mentioned overall satisfaction. It's gone up for the first month or the fifth month in a row. That's exactly how many months it's been since election day. The system works. Millions can't be wrong. Not every time, at least. When they come for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out, I was not a trade union member. Back to the math. Some people in an unfamiliar uniform came to the factory. They are asking about a certain young dark trainee from the foundry. I guess we're gonna do so. Resisted arrest and was shot dead right on the shop floor. Oh god, this is terrible. I made a mistake on the math. Oops. But we still got a bonus. It's okay. Calculator.exe has failed. Help. Reboot. Reboot. JesseCalculator.exe If you sure you did the right thing, but things turned out poorly, is it your fault? It's not your fault. You weren't the one resisting arrest. You weren't the one firing shots. You are sure you did the right thing, and that's what counts. And if I'm not actually sure, you didn't intend to hurt anybody, and you can only be judged on your intentions. Even if everything is falling apart, You've had a hard day, so run a bath and I'll make you a cup of tea. Of your favorite tea. Go to bed early and everything will be alright. Do I actually run a bath? Because we haven't actually seen this guy use the bathroom or anything. Like, I can't get into the bathroom. A 
according to this game, will you be home late again today? We've been over this, dear. We just have to be patient right now. Business is booming, and the government contracts are getting bigger. We have a lot of work, yes, but it's better than not having work. Or have you forgotten what it was like just a few years ago? Of course, I'm glad that things are picking up, but you can't just live at work. Your daughter barely ever sees you. I'll try to come home earlier today. It's been so long since we had dinner together as a family. Anyway, I'm off. The sooner I get started, the sooner I'll be done. I don't know. Look around, look into passerby's eyes. What are the what are the reasons for this gloomy reality? They are not some mysterious methods of government propaganda, not the mystical nature of the leaders, not the repressive apparatus, but the very nature of bourgeois society that inevitably turns into imperialism. I've been given a bonus. Huzzah! You stayed late at work again. While walking home through the empty streets, you notice two young people, their faces hidden behind bandanas, throwing Molotov cocktails at the windows of a bank branch. After a clumsy movement, the bandana slipped from the face of one of the fandals, and you recognized a gruff saleswoman from the paper shop where you usually buy the Sunday paper. When they noticed your car, they fled down a dark alley. Inform the police! <laughs> the police ate, raided a clandestine network of fringe groups. You were written up in a newspaper article as a hero and received a prize of 100. Yeah, I'm a bad person in this game. I am part of the structure. But I feel like, you know, with the name of the game being Norman's Great Illusion, snitches get stitches. Eventually, I probably will. But that's the thing. Like, I feel like the game is kind of like pushing you to do that. Like, if the name of the game was, like, Norm Norman's Great Awakening, <laughs> you know. But it's almost like Norman's... Hey, it's Christmas! I had a wonderful dream last night, and I hadn't dreamed in what seems like forever. It's the season of miracles and magic, and your dream is a good sign. I'm just glad it's the weekend. By the way, doors don't creak in dreams. I can take a hint. I'll go to the, the shop first, and if I survive that battle, I'll deal with all those little t things that I've been putting off for so long. I hope you haven't forgotten that we're supposed to go visiting this evening. 
I want this whole day to feel like a real holiday. Your wish is law, and we respect the law in this family. The crisis has encompassed all branches of production, but one of them remains untouched. The arms industry. <laughs> Your trip to the store cost you the whole day and a lot of nerves. As soon as you got home, it was already time to leave to go visit friends. Fortunately, there were no traffic jams and the text and the taxi brought you to your destination quickly. If you ask me, socialism is like measles. It's best to get it out of your system while you, you're young. That's for, for sure. I think you mean chicken pox. Thanks, dear. I just love it when you correct me like that. Did you hear? They just passed a law raising the retirement age. And the work week's been extended. Don't forget about that. I swear, I just can't understand why this is all going down on us. All coming down on us. We're hard workers and responsible too. Our superiors should appreciate that. I couldn't agree more. Sure. The lowest wage workers might need the, st the stick, but we're different. We're better motivated by the carrot. Plus, there will be even more government orders now. The louder the warriors rattle their weapons, the better it'll be for us. No one will dare to unleash this madness again anyway. Once, once was more than enough to knock some sense into everyone and instill a little humanity. Now no one will step over the red line. Gentlemen, gentlemen, we've been waiting for you long enough. We want to dance. Save your serious discussion for later. It's time to celebrate. Merry Christmas. Y you see that? For Christmas, no pay. <laughs> we lost money. <laughs> we lost ninety dollars. Day 307. Another gloomy morning. I'm starting to forget what the sun looks like. Don't lose heart. Winter is coming to an end. Soon the snow will all melt and everything will start turning green just the way you like it. Yes, it's inevitable, isn't it? And we can't do anything to change it. That doesn't make it sound very fun. But I guess it's true. I know, right? We took a holiday. And it scares me. Don't be dramatic, dear. I've got to run. I hope you find some way to cheer yourself up. Do do do. Then they came for me. And there was no one left to speak for me. The factory won a government contract to manufacture gas chambers? Oh my god. Some employees quit in protest while the rest worked themselves to the bone. Damn it. <laughs> like, every step of the way, I just feel like I'm being more evil just by playing the, ga the game as, like, the, uh, the ones just towing the line. <laughs> Like, I, I'm bad now. <laughs> I said I would play it this way, and I'm just like, 
every bit, it's like, no, I'm, I'm, I feel worse. I mean, the whole idea was I wanted to just play it like this one, like one time. I figured like, I'm guessing there's like achievements for doing the game different ways. I didn't look at the list. You were in the respect of the authorities and got one week of additional vacation t to recuperate. I mean, I feel like if you play also from the other side of it, I gotta think you're gonna run out of money or like... I don't know. for the salary, 90 for spending, 30 for bonus, penalty zero. While going through the Daily Mail, you found a note from your boss. The effort you put into your work in the last few months have been recognized. You've been promoted. Killing it. Where is the line between accountability and irresponsibility? This question has been bothering me all day. I get it. I want to be good. And I want to always do the right thing, but life is not a fairy tale, and sometimes you have to compromise. You know that I've always been behind you, but not this time. It seems to me we've lost our way. Better travel with disagreeable companions than just sit by the wayside. But where will we end up? Let's not talk about this anymore. I made my choice, and you have to accept that. Can good ever come out of evil? Well, yep, we're being a bad a bad guy now. Can I get like the red glowy eyes next? I've been fascinated by mathematics ever since I was a child. Disciplined, elegant, and most importantly, clearly distinguishing between plus and minus. That's not how life works. It's amusing how easily what seemed positive yesterday can become negative today. It's been so long since I last heard your philosophical musings. I remember when we were students, I'd listen to your ideas until my brain hurt. How could I not fall in love with you after that? In pursuit of one of the, the same goal, you you can multiply the worthy and eliminate the defection, the, the defective. At first glance, it's almost the same thing. But on closer examination, it becomes obvious that these are two fundamentally opposite paths. Do you have a formula for avoiding the wrong choices? No. But first, I would have asked the conduct the conductor okay and now you'll need a formula for choosing the right conductor too yeah i don't think this is going to turn out well for norman imperialism cannot exist without violence and plunder without blood and shooting that's the nature of imperialism war has broken out mobilization is announced I'm going to keep my job. I'm going to work hard at my job. Oops. It's the end. You have completed the game.
The city emptied out in a matter of days. A week later, your house was also deserted while you were out. Men in uniform came and took your wife and daughter away. No! We got half the achievements. So we have to get the ending three times. You were fired. Become a member of an underground organization. You burned factory's owner factory's owner house. You broke your car. And you failed work minigame. Huh. So I guess if we play to kind of Let's do it again. And we'll make all the choices for good. And we're going to let the car break down. Everything is falling out of your hands, and there are no more mis are more mistakes in your calculations than usual. The daily goal at the factory hasn't been reached because of you. Your boss got really angry. He has charged you with a penalty and sent you home. <laughs> now we're gonna break the car. <laughs> Changing lanes and traffic without looking around is undoubtedly the easiest way to get yourself killed. You've been busy thinking about your everyday problems and forgot to pay attention while making a maneuver. You couldn't avoid a collision. Luckily, no one got hurt, but the car had to be towed to the repair shop. We only gained $40, we spent $90, and we had $190 in penalty. I don't think we're going to make it to the end. We can skip all the text this time. Okay, we let the car break down, so let's not do that again. I don't need another massive penalty. But I think we will get fired. Step aside. We're in the negative. Oh God. <laughs> we have we have no savings. Your savings will be drained soon. Time is running out. Desperate times call for desperate measures.
most of the dialogue has been. Get revenge on the factory owner. <laughs> <laughs> Terror is always a bad idea. You burned factory's owner house. <laughs> we didn't get fired. The factory owner's luxurious mansion burned picturesquely against the starry night sky. Unfortunately, the police can collect evidence better than you can conceal it after a quick trial you were hanged as a terrorist your wife was put into prison as an accomplice and your daughter was sent to the orphanage damn <laughs> so what do we got left we still got three achievements to go uh, we gotta get a, th a third ending, it looks like. I gotta get fired, and I become a, a, a member of an underground organization. It doesn't look like the driving segment can actually go any quicker, so I don't think there's any reason to kind of skip through it, I guess. At least on the job side, like, we can do the math wrong. And get sent home. I think if you don't read the dialogue, this is probably like a sub-hour completion, or an hour to hour and a half. But we we played it legit, and we're still going pretty quick. Now, if you were speedrunning the game, you'd want to walk diagonally, because you actually obviously go a lot quicker walking diagonally. Um, and then, after we're done this one, we're actually going to swap over to Active Neurons 2. So let's get those last three achievements. Calculator is broken. JesseCalculator.exe refuses to work. But yeah, this is a pretty basic game. If you like doing basic math in your head, ooh boy, so much fun.
We voted for a different party this time. Something tells me I'm going to be taken away by secret police eventually in this one. Your kind is not welcomed here. You were fired. <laughs> While going through the Daily Mail, you found a note from your boss. Your mistakes and shortcomings, lack of focus, and unfinished work got you to a point that you've been fired. What am I going to do the next day? Like, I don't have a job. Where are we going? <laughs> I had to get on a suit and I don't have a job. We joined a clandestine circle. We got the achievement three endings. You have reached the ending three times. And we got the achievement Undergrounder. You became a member of an underground organization. You and your family had to leave home and move from safe house to safe house around the country for several years. Not that time was not But that time was not wasted, and when the moment came, you and your like-minded allies knew exactly how to act in order to establish the power of the people and build a new type of just society. So, what we had to do to break out of the illusion was go broke. <laughs> Seriously, if... If you keep having money, you're able to stay in and finish the game like, you know, reach the ending. But if you lose all your money, then you get to make the interesting other choices. I gotta wonder if, like, you can make it to the end with money. You know, is there some other interesting decisions to make? But we're not gonna go through another run. So what we're going to do is we are going to swap it up real quick. It looks like there was some different dialogue, by the way, Valbo. Um, so, like, some of the different choices you made could give you a slightly different ending or different, like, choices or different progression of your conversations with your wife because that one where I picked choose the other party for the election... You know, it had me reading information for an hour, and then that is reflected in the conversation you have with your wife afterwards when she's all excited about the NSP winning, winning. You're not. So there's definitely some... Like, there's definitely some interplay between it. So, but once again, that was Norman's Great Illusion... And if you haven't gotten it, it's been out for just about a, a bit more than a month. It's only $5. And as we can see, it was about an hour completion. Um, if you go just for the achievements, you could probably do it in shorter than the hour 20 that it took us. But if you, you know, want to play through the story, see a lot of the options, um, there's probably more that we didn't get through, but you know, I think you give it a good two hours or so, you could probably see everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to just end the recording here.